Can a grip make you hit it further? Make you hit a little bit more consistent, make you hit a little bit higher. Can a grip do any of those things if you change the size? Let's find out next. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop. This is the McGolf Channel where we do golf club reviews, golf club fittings, golf club repairs, all so your scores can go low. If you would, we do a live stream on Mondays at 17.30, 5.30 Eastern Time on this same channel, on our Facebook page, and now even on LinkedIn if you look at McGolf Custom Clubs. We talk about the same exact topics, fittings, repairs, uh, opinions, reviews, the whole nine yards, plus a few other things. And we do it with people from around the world. So if you drop in, tune in, it would be great. We'd like to see you there. Okay, so grips. This has been a video that's almost a year in the making. This year at the PGA show, John Mazenoble, who is the lead for Gol or Jumbo Max, right? He's the lead for Jumbo Max. And he says, Jim, he's, we've known each other for a while. Uh, these grips really can get you some serious distance. And I went, nah, and nah, they don't. I mean, a grip can be comfortable and that kind of thing, sure. But bigger grip, all this, bigger this. I mean, he's throwing out some really crazy numbers. And I threw the flag on him. I said, nah, that's not happening. And he goes, no, really, it does. It works. We have all this testing that we've done. They, people are hitting it further. People are hitting it uh, more consistent, the whole nine yards. I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah, here. Uh, let's try the, try it out. And, and here's some driver shafts said, no, I ain't doing drivers. And he said, well, why not? And I said, well, if it was truly the thing, it would still do the same exact thing in irons. And I said, so if we want to do a test, let's do a test in irons just to see what happens. Yes. The driver's really cool. It's an ego club. You see big numbers, but the use in irons is truly where it's at, right? You use more irons through the round than anything else. Let's see if you can really get a no kidding, you know, advantage with these bigger grips and irons. He said, okay. <laughs> okay. So he sent me two sets of grips and they were the tour grips, the textured model, not the wrap and the ultralights. So let's talk about the jumbo max because there's two, two companies I got to thank for this because they, uh, donated to this, the first one being Jumbo Max. Jumbo Max has a tour wrap, they have a tour texture, they have a, an ultra light, they have a straight eight, and now they have what's called a Zen light. All right, the tour, uh, the tour wrap and the tour texture are their, we'll call it their flagship models. They are, a, uh, they have, they're, you know, <laughs> they're small is bigger than most Jumbos and it goes up to an extra large. And that takes a fitting, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, if you want to do that, go to Jumbo Max Grips, and they have a whole fitting system in the website, and I suggest you go and take a look at it. The ultralight is, a, is exactly what it sounds like. It's an ultralight grip. Now, in the tour grips, these things can get as heavy as 123 grams. That's a lot of weight, and but the grip is about yay big around. In the ultralight, they don't get any heavier than, say, I believe it's 70 grams. It's very, very light. In fact, the, the smaller bigger grips are actually lighter than most regular grips. It's kind of unique and it's a different construction altogether. Now the straight eight is something that's kind of unique. It's kind of the combination of both and it's got a little, uh, we'll call it an opening on the end for those, uh, the, those arcos or those little, uh, tabs that you can use to monitor your distance. They can be in there. And just here as of late is the Zen light. And what that is, is that's a rubber coated version with an underlisting on it. So for those who didn't prefer the synthetic feel, the synthetic grip feel, and you prefer a rubber grip feel, this is where that's going. And they've since re uh, released another one, but this is not that topic. So they have multiple sizes all the way down to what would be a standard oversize in some of the models to these extraordinarily large grips. Why? Well, the idea here is that less grip pressure creates high speeds, more consistency because you're not straining your forearms in order to grip here. When you have the smaller grip, 
and you and this and this is what um, strains out then it slows you down and it makes for inconsistencies there's some that's some good ideas in that okay there's really some good ideas in that so we're going to find that out the second company is Acra Acra Golf Shafts Acra Golf Shafts is a company that has been supporting uh, custom club makers like me and folks from around the world uh, by providing some really quality golf shafts, right? The I-Series, which is basically every one of these guys right back here, all right, uh, in several weights, right? From 40 all the way up to 110. And as they go up, the flexes can change. Now, what they allowed me to have was what was they called the ICWT-95. What does all that mean? It's a 95 gram graphite shaft. The ICWT means the constant weight. So what that means is there's several discrete lengths and they're all going to be the same weight, which is very much like the steel counterparts that you see way back in the day. Now, this thing sports some several, uh, several technologies. One is a uniform taper. So from the butt section to the tip section, it's a uniform taper and that distributes the energy equally and gives you a little more oomph, okay? It also has a carbon weave technology and that means that there are several types of carbon and several types of weaves and styles in order to give the, the shaft its particular profile and weight. And it takes a bit for that, right? And then they have the uh, constant flex technology or the CFT meaning that from weight to weight to weight to weight, if I'm looking for a stiff, they will all be in that same frequency area. Normally when you get lighter weights and you say, I want a stiff in this, it's also uh, lighter flex. And they've made it so across the board, which is great. And the last bit is there's an SW3 in it, meaning SW3 certified is a machine that they use to profile, match, and, and document each one of these shafts. So this is a <laughs> really nice shaft. And uh, so what I did is I have one in my fitting system that has a standard grip on it. And then I, have, I put all those different grips on these shafts. And then what we did as I was doing fittings throughout the year, and we would use the head that they prefer uh, in, from the fitting and then give them these shafts to hit. And then we would see if there was a difference. All right, and there was, uh, however, I am the last one to test, so we're going to go test now. pattern that I made with the standard grip and as you can see there's a couple that go down the middle and most of my shots are going to be slight pulls that you're seeing right here it's a fan it's okay I mean they're they're very consistent and they're across the board now on to the tour and the the tour grip looks a little bit bigger of a fan but it's getting out there a little bit higher as we can see and maybe just a skosh wider then we get to the ultralight, and I've got six shots instead of five, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you here in a moment. And you get two there going wide, and then the rest are going down the middle. Now, there's an extra one here, and as you can see, there's fairly big numbers. I just wanted to show you that this is how we take out the outliers. So right now, as we see it, we re review all the results. 
the Jumbo Max Ultralight 174, 176, the Jumbo Max Tour 169, 170, and standard 163, 165. Now they're all hit pretty good, and the, when you get a smash factor in the 130s, it's actually pretty good. I just hit the uh, ultralight just a little bit better. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the groupings, and this is the one that the with the ultralight, and this was that very last one. And I wanted to show you those numbers. We're going to take that one out because that's the outlier, and now it's a fairly tight number. When we compare them to all the rest of them, it's a little smaller circle than the red or the blue, and more finding towards the middle, save this guy right here. Now if we go back and we look at it a little bit more, it's a 172-175 versus 163-165, and that's, you know, a 9-yard and 10-yard gain over the standard grip. So, it, and what we're seeing is, if we go back to the, the, the grouping, that 249 yards, the blue is 249, and, and then the other one was 490. So my grouping is as big around as this one. I'd argue the point that the two blues are here, and then these blues are, are a little bit wider than all the greens. I would argue that it's actually a little bit smaller. Now, as far as ball height goes, and we see this, the if we go to the standard, right in here is about 30 yards with one maybe into the 32 yard. This one, all of them are 32 and above. And then the ultralight, we get up in there and 32 and above. So a couple yards higher uh, in this particular case. I've seen others where they're a little bit higher, uh, but a, a higher ball flight, which creates a, a little bit longer distance. So again, what we're seeing is with the ultralight, it just hit a little bit better across the board than say the standard or even the tour and if we look at it you know it i just as the uh, grip got a little bit bigger i did a little bit better and apparently i prefer the the lighter grip between the rest of them so let's go back and let's check out some more stuff all right so what do we find out well we found out that uh, i hit about nine to ten yards better with the ultra light grip and i hit it in a pretty tight pattern uh, very similar to the regular grip, just a lot further. And what, so what was that in the way we found this stuff out? Well, if we go back and we average all the ones that we did before, that 10 to 11 yard was at the top end of the range, where 6 to 7 yards was the average of the range. So I, I was in the higher end. How about that? So what does all that mean? Well, everything that Jumbo Max and John Mazenoble was saying, uh, really when you average them all out, is true. The, the, you can hit it higher, you can hit a little further, you can hit it a little bit more consistent to the tune of around, I'm gonna say conservatively, seven to eight yards. All right, seven to eight yards. Now, is that a 100% guarantee? No, and nothing in golf is, right? But the lion's share of all the ones that all the golfers I tested did show an improvement, all right? They did show an improvement. If you haven't tried an extra large grip, you really need to give it a go, right? And But there are many different models to choose from. So you really have to be careful. I would go to their fitting, their fitting tool that they have on their website so that you can get the right grip. It would be just a failed experiment and a waste of time if you just went, oh yeah, I just want the extra large grip and you don't have the, the hands that are going to fit into that. Use the tool, get the right grip, the right texture that you like, and test them out and see. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Now, give it four or five shots because it's something that you're not going to be used to, right? Give it four or five shots and then start taking note of what's going on. And that's what I did. I hit those shots, I took some out, and what you saw for me was the resultant of that. So, you know, uh, pleasantly surprised, right? Pleasantly surprised. Now, we gotta put, throw a big thank you out to Acker Golf Shafts. Acker Golf Shafts, excellent, excellent shaft. I recommend them highly. We use them a ton, all right? We use them a ton around here uh, because they're good, right? They're just like that, they're good. And this ICW 95 actually surprised a bunch of guys when we, when we were testing them. They're like, wow, this feels pretty good. I said, yeah, I know, right? So uh, Acro Golf Shafts, 
go check them out, see where your local fitter might be so that you can take advantage of those. All right, so last bit, right? Do they work? Yes. Do you need to be fit? Yes. Do you need the right shafts in your clubs? Yes. So get all that taken care of and watch your golf get better, enjoying it the whole nine yards. Again, if you got any questions, put them in the show notes below and we'll answer them as much as we possibly can. Uh, don't forget the live stream on Mondays. And as always, let's see your scores go low.